this is a system that anybody could use, whether you had a few head of cattle or, or a lot of cattle. It allows you to just basically build whatever kind of system you need, wherever you need it. The neat thing about it is it's all flexible in design. As you decide you need to change something due to topography or number of cattle you're going to be working, you can add to it, put, subtract away from it. It allows you to just basically build whatever kind of system you need, wherever you need it. The lower cost of it is very appealing to some of the smaller operators. Uh, if you're not running cattle through it very often, you can set up you know, adjacent to an existing chute or something as well and put a box on it. But it's very portable. That's one of the things we really like about the bud box system is that you can set it up anywhere. Uh, you can use panels to do it and allow you to work. You can build additional corrals. You can build sorting pins out in the front of the chute, however you want to do it. So it's completely flexible from that standpoint. I see so many pens that you build and they sit there probably 11 and a half months out of the year without being used. With this deal, you can take it down if you're gonna start some horses, you could use it as a round pen. It's got a lot of different uses, these panels. You can keep the cow out of your wife's yard, whatever. The size of the bud box, in some respects, depends on how many cattle you're going to need to send up the crowd alley to the chute. You don't ever want to bring more into the bud box than you would put in that crowd alley. So if it'll hold five or six head, you want a bud box that will handle five or six head and, and be able to bring them in there, get them turned around and out very easily. That'll normally take somewhere around a 20 to a 24 foot deep. Uh, bud box. Now we're talking about length from the gate that closes the bud box off to the back of the bud box being 20 to 24 feet. If you get one of them too deep and too long or however you want to say it and they're 30 feet long for example and you only have five or six head you have to go too far back in the box to get the cattle to flow out. So once again it basically puts you in a position to bend behind the cattle if you're not careful. So you'd rather have a bud box that's maybe a little short than one that's too long. So the whole principle of the bud box, you know, really it works with all the things we work on in training our cattle. They come into the box, they find out they can't go somewhere, so then naturally with cattle they want to come back where they came from. But if the human positions himself, the way the eye works, they go right around us. And that, by stepping back towards the hip of the cow, it draws their eye right up this chute. If you don't position yourself right, they're gonna keep looking out the back of the chute. The lead up to the chute, there's several features in it that I think are really important, and that's those alley frames that keep it from bowing and, and giving too much. But I always put enough of them where it'll support those panels that go to that chute. One of the big advantages of the bud box setup in an alley is we have our lead up to our chute here if you had a gate on the other side, the exact opposite side, you could load a truck, you could have a loading chute or a trailer load out right there and you'd use a bud box here to load cattle in your chute. Use the same bud box to load cattle out of the, out of the pen. This is 24 foot long attached to the chute. And so that allows you to bring four or five cows or six cows, maybe depending on the size. If it'll hold six cows, bring five. That way you don't have to force that last one in there. She's trying to get in there, but if there's not quite enough room, then you wind up putting too much pressure on her. So I always try to bring one less than it'll hold. To make a bud box work effectively, cattle need to enter it at a pretty good speed. In fact, you want them, if they go in at a trot, it would be a good thing. Because the faster they go in, the more inclined they are to turn around and come back out and, and establish that flow. Where if you just ease them down an alleyway or out of a pen into a bud box, you don't have enough momentum and speed to get them to come back out. So the same principles apply here, but it may be even more critical because we're using body position and flow to get cattle out of the box and into the crowd out. <music>